This is Ray Carso reporting for 1050 ESPN here in New York. And I am with Brian LeBaron, the assistant producer and designer for Mortal Kombat versus DCU. Now, Brian, let's get started right away just asking you, you got to tell us about, just just get into some detail about Mortal Kombat versus, versus DCU. Yeah, so what we're really trying to focus on in this game is trying to bring the 2D feel back from the old games, like the 2D, the Mortal Kombat 1s, the Mortal Kombat 2s, the Mortal Kombat 3s and trying to separate the 2D from the 3D, but still leaving the 3D accessible for casual gamers and people who like to move 3D motion. Um, but we're really focusing on the 2D being the core part of the gameplay. If you press down on the digital pad, you know, you're doing the ducking like you would in the old school 2D games. Up would be the straight jump, kind of like the old feel that you had in the old games, the jumping, the jump kicking, punching the guys out of the air, all that stuff is back. It feels really good in 3D. But then on the analog, you still have the 3D motion. Um, one thing that we also are focusing on is uh, anytime the game is like where you're not, there's no interactivity, like where you do throws or level transitions when you're knocking somebody through a wall and they're falling down, um, we're making that an experience where you can actually hit buttons and do a, some sort of mini game where it's an experience that actually lets the player have in so like, like, like mid-air fighting almost. Like yes. Yeah, exactly. Like just free, we call it actually free fall. So it's like a free fall combat. It's uh, another mechanic similar to the free fall mechanic where during the level transition, when you ba bash them through the walls, you're actually able to do like a test your might scenario where it's kind of a tug of war between the two players. Both players are bashing on all the buttons while you're watching the sequence happen, so it makes it more interactive. It's a lot of fun. Another part of the game here is uh, you can see the damage on the clothes. I was just about to say, yeah. Yeah, so you see the cape getting ripped. Um, you'll see right here, like if I'm in this close combat and I break his arm, you'll actually see the clothing rip where I'm breaking his arm. It's definitely an impressive new feature. Yeah, we're really excited about it. It really adds a lot of uh, not only just bragging rights after you beat somebody. You're like, oh, look, you know, even if you lost, you still, you know, oh, I ripped your arm, I busted your mask. All right, so yeah, like so through part, certain parts of the background will have uh, these free fall areas, which is, were pretty common in, in, Mortal, in fighting games, 3D fighting games, in Mortal Kombat in the past. But now we're making it so it's interactive. And as you're falling here, you have these, you can beat the guy up on the way down. So you're throwing punches left and right, and you're building up this super meter. And right when you want to do, like you can either cash out, it's kind of a gambling meter where it's the same meter used for both players. So while you're falling, you can either cash out once you hit the halfway point and do your super move, or you can still continue to try to hit. But if you continue trying to hit, you still give the opportunity to the other player to reverse the sides. So he can steal the super meter, and all the damage you just did to him is becoming going to be done to you now. So you're never, you're never fully out of the fight until it's over. Yeah, until it's, until it's all said and done. But you can cash out early on, so if I build up my super, and I can say right now I can either cash out and do my super, or I can keep trying to hit you. And if I keep trying to hit you, he has an opportunity to reverse the table, steal my super move. And one of the things, one of the staples of the Mortal Kombat series have always been the special moves. Bringing in the DC characters, what, what kind of special moves are we, are we going to see there? Are we going to see really or unique original moves based for these characters? Or are we going to see something more uh, similar to, to older Mortal Kombat character moves maybe? You'll see some of, a little bit of both. It was really easy. I mean, it's almost a no-brainer for us on the design side where if you have a... Batman, of course, he's going to throw a batarang. You know, of course, he's going to use his, his utility belt. You know, so it makes it a lot easier than coming up with a brand new character and coming up with new moves for that character. It's almost, they're almost written for us already. Like, you know, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, Superman, what is he going to have? A heat vision, of course. Mm -hmm. You know, a uh, freeze breath. Okay, no brainer stuff. Like, you'd expect to see. You can use a lot of super moves and combos, unlike the last games, are all like dial combo in our previous games. Um, this is much more customizable, more along the lines of the 2D games, where you're able to, like, you know, you punch somebody, you can do a ground pound into an eye laser, and you can kind of mix stuff up. So pretty cool looking stuff you can get out of it. Um, and you can do it in different orders, too, if you want to do, you know, punch to eye laser. You can kind of mix it up. It's kind of, you'll see two different people playing Batman two different ways. Uh, similarly, we have these moves now. We're kind of, a lot of the time, and uh, MK fans have always been like, you know, MK, or just, just fighting game fans in general. Or, uh, you know, Mortal Kombat doesn't have the depth that other fighting games have. It's made for casual gamers. Oh, I don't like Mortal Kombat because of that reason. We're trying to add a lot more depth with the gameplay. So we're, now, we're doing these things we're calling pro moves or expert moves. Um, we don't have a definitive name for it yet. But during a certain frame of your animation, when you're punching, like a, a contact point, like if I do a ground pound with, with Superman, when I do the normal ground pound, right when his hand hits the ground, if I hit another button input, he'll do a double one that pops the guy up. But these moves aren't meant for even expert players to get off every time. The windows are really small to get them off. But once you do it, you'll be you feel rewarded, and it's meant to be something really cool that you always try for, and half the time you get. 
obviously you're gonna have your classic moves, you know, Scorpion Spear and Sub Zero's uh, uh, Freeze. Are there gonna be are these characters gonna have any upgraded moves? Any updated moves or? Yeah, a lot of the moves have already been like reevaluated and reupdated, um, making them work a little better, especially for the three the, the gameplay that we're going for. Um, we've also added moves to like Scorpion has a new move where you like sets himself on fire and anybody who touches him and you know it's another one of those pro moves where you can keep it going it's really cool there's a lot of stuff we've been adding a lot more special moves orientated because we're using the special moves in the combos so a lot of characters are going to have a lot of special moves now there's 20 possible characters overall how many do you get to start with though and how many are unlockable we're shooting for a 20 when we ship and um, we may have a few unlockables but uh, right now we're going 10 and 10 so 10 dc 10 mk it's not set in stone who we're going to lock anybody off the, right off the bat we're probably going to leave everybody open accessible um, but we'll definitely have plenty of secrets and stuff. It's Mortal Kombat, so. Mm -hmm. is, is something like the Crypt going to come back? Um, not a Crypt, but definitely some form of unlocking stuff. But we're not going to have some sort of something, but not the Crypt. So no tokens or anything like that? No, 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 no currency or anything. Yet. Now I see here in the loading screen that it looks like it's a Gotham City arena. Uh, how many DC arenas are there going to be? How many like original Mortal Kombat arenas will you might we're gonna see? Do, like we did with the characters, we're going to split it. So half and half. So we're shooting for like, you know, around 12, 10 to 12. Um, depending how much time we get in. But we're gonna have half MK, half DC. In this build we have here, we have the graveyard, which is an old MK background. We have hell, which is another background where Scorpion's from. And then we have uh, uh, like a room metropolis, which where Superman's background. So we're kind of trying to do a good blend of both worlds. Now, of course, one other thing is, is that obviously the, the finish him at the end of, uh, end of each uh, battle is that, uh, you know, Batman and Superman, they don't kill. So what, what, what is the solution to the fatality um, for the DC okay. characters? The solution we ended up with was we're going to give all the MK characters still having fatalities. I mean, this was never really a solution. This was always how it was planned. Um, it's just that a lot of the websites, uh, you know, when we gave the teaser out, everybody's like, no, there's no fatalities, you know, so we're like, uh, it was more of a rumor than anything. We've always planned to have fatalities for the DC heroes, Superman, Batman, Flash, people you don't expect would be able to kill somebody. We do, uh, we're calling them brutalities right now. They're equally as violent. It's actually better because we can be more creative now. So look, it's actually given us a really a lot of big opportunity to be more creative with making something look really cool but not kill somebody. So like before, you could just add a bunch of blood to make it cool. Or, oh, this one isn't as cool, so just put more blood in there and it makes it cool, you know. You know how we are. And another thing is, is uh, what a lot of people are talking about is that how is, you know, Shang Tsung going to hurt Superman? How are they going to... Well, a lot of people don't realize we have a DC writer as well working with us on story. So his name uh, Jimmy Pamiati, I believe his name is. Uh, he's uh, a pretty big DC writer, and he knows the storyline really well on the DC side, this DC universe. So we even kind of we bounce stuff off of him. How can we make things work since pretty much the beginning? And uh, you know, it's really helped. And one of the things that Superman is also, other than Kryptonite, is magic. So like right now, we we have a lot of magic in the Mortal Kombat world. So the storyline will. We're not really talking about the storyline too much, but we are definitely gonna explain everything in this storyline. How Superman is beating up Sonya. You know, like that wouldn't happen, but it, it all explains that. And we actually have a pretty cool story mode where you can play from either the MK side of the story or the DC side of the story, and it intertwines with each other. And it's, it's really cool. You'd be like, oh, that's why Sonya was doing what she was and where she was. That's why Superman thought she was evil. You know, it all makes sense. And, uh, and I think that's going to be something really people are really, really dig, really like. So. So the sound of it is also that you're, you're kind of getting away from the tournament style and that there's more of an in-depth story mode maybe to this? Yeah, yeah, there's an in-depth story mode to it. But we'll still have the arcade traditional ladder as well. Like, you know, you play through your characters, you play through your boss fights, and you get a single star, what-if scenario story. That stuff still exists. And uh, when exactly can we see it on store shelves? Oh, you can expect to see it in fall on both PS3 and Xbox 360.